about to experience the awe and mystery which reaches from the inner mind. Well, well, not bad, not bad. All right, so yesterday, yesterday's photo, I like it, but it was not like what I was expecting. I was expecting an actual tower. It was too dark, and I think this camera, this digital bag really doesn't play well with dark spots. I mean, it was really noisy. This time I'm gonna try to go a little bit earlier to a different spot where I shoot before, and I know that I can get a missed shot. But for that, I need to strip the camera out first and uh, make it smaller as I can. Let's get started. All right, so here's where I'm planning to take camera, uh, mask, of course, and the digital bag needs to be connected to the lens, but instead of the lens, I have this thing so I can swap lenses without me forgetting to, to put this guy back in and out. Uh, probably a, a trigger. I'm maybe needing to tilt the camera or something. I'll figure it out over there, I guess. Uh, 50. 180, 110, my new viewfinder that I just made, and the, the crystal ball that I used yesterday. Of course, memory card, very important. I'm leaving back uh, the shades, because it's, it's pretty dark. I'm leaving back the, the double grip and the tripod stand, because I'm not gonna need it there. So yeah, with these things, I, I know that there is like spots where you can like place it like next to the window. Uh, so I'm, I'll try to figure out what to do with that. Uh, hopefully this is enough. So over here out of the station of Hanamatsu Cho, you come out, you see these stairs over here. This is the World Trade Center building and there is a Tokyo Tower in the back as you can see it's popping out. If you go to the middle of the place, there is a, a little machine where you pay 600 yen and there's this lady that pushes the button 40 of the elevator and it just takes you all the way up. You cannot stop in the middle or anything, it's just like straight up, straight down. You give your ticket here, you went, you go up these stairs and then you can see like a whole like view of the place, you can go all around. And there's like some chairs and stuff to, to sit down, but as you can see on the Tokyo Tower place, there's like so many people always trying to take the picture. This is like every day, so I, I pick up a spot, um, I was lucky to get this little table place. And yeah, it was pretty nice, I was shooting with the, the crystal ball a little bit and, and then the tower and you know, without it, I was just trying to do some composition, try to focus to see. Um, how it would come so I was just waiting for the light to be cool as you can see that it was starting to get a little dark over here you can see the sky tree at the bottom uh, and then you can see rainbow bridge so here's the tower and as if you zoom in you can see like what the 80 megapixels do to this photo and I don't know if how well it's gonna come out on the video but uh, I'm gonna try to like to do a zoom I'm using 100% of the of the picture over here, and as you can see, like you can read the building names and stuff from from where I was shooting, which you can cannot really tell. And all these little details, it's actually even hard to see with your eyes, but um, the camera seems to be able to pick it up. So if we go up in the middle, you can see like there is actually people there also taking pictures out. And but I don't like to be up there because like you don't see Tokyo Tower because you're in it. <laughs> And as you can see, like there's like some really, really cool details of the tower that you know usually people doesn't get all the time when you see these pictures of the tower. And uh, if you guys want, if you somebody wants, I can put a link somewhere. So next, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom into the Mori Tower, which is a, pretty much like Roppongi Hills. It's in the other. It's a, it's a little far from from where I was. And as you can see, there's people up there where you can go up and take pictures, but they don't allow you tripods or anything. It's just what you can have in your hand. All right, boys and girls, sorry I cannot make so much videos anymore, but uh, I keep doing my projects with the with the camera. I keep working on this viewfinder. So as you can see, this part over here I added and now it opens. It opens like before, but then I realized if I'm gonna open it anyway, maybe I don't need this, such a loop in there. Maybe I can keep it as a, as a little one that I had before. But I'm not sure if I should find a loop that anyone can find because I don't know where to find this one. I bought it at, bazaar, at the bazaar and I cannot find it anymore. So maybe get a more generic one that everyone can get like in B&H or Amazon or something. And make a, make a little change on the design and, and make it smaller so I can like open it and, and use a stronger loop to make even a better focus. So, But anyway, today I got a little shoot that I'm gonna do with Miku to try to test her skin and maybe her next uh, CD cover, it's her single cover, so 
I'm just waiting for her to arrive and we'll do a shoot here. So she came in and we did a little photo shoot just for her new album and this is just some of the co couple of shots we got. All right, so she was a little bit shy to be there on camera, but um, we finished the photo shoot, so that's a wrap right now. <laughs> Well, ladies and gentlemen, my goal was 28 days, but I think I was sitting pretty bad. Now, as you can see, I'm getting some kind of rashes on the skin, which are really itchy. See all that, which is, it's okay, because, you know, the, the body is ex expelling the toxins, but I think I, I had a lot of it. It's hard to speak. Um, I feel like drunk or drugged. Uh, my brain reacts really slow. And uh, today I, I got one of the, you know, alert symptoms where you have to stop immediately, which is your head starts to hurt. Um, a little headache or something like that, maybe it's okay, but I don't want to risk at all nothing that has to do with the head because that's major, that's, that's a major, you know, that's life and death stuff. So um, as soon as my head started to hurt, that's it, I'm stopping. I did manage to lose 10 kilos, which is a lot in 13 days. I feel very, very bad, it's hard to even speak. Um, that's why I couldn't make videos because I've been really, 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 really tired. I feel a little bit bad. I wish my body can handle more, but if if I don't listen and I just keep on being stubborn, I can I can really damage myself. So um, this is it. Sorry for for you know if I if I fell somebody. Let's see how it goes. So thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry I couldn't upload every day. And, and thanks a lot for your support. And I love you guys. I'm just kidding. No, I do love you. So, bye bye. Expect more camera videos soon. I got a lot of nice stuff. Also, Nico's photo shoot and stuff. It's pretty cool. Bye bye.